Twelve people, ten journalists and two policemen have been killed and ten others wounded in the shooting massacre at the Paris headquarters of satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo. Three of the wounded are in critical condition. The hooded gunmen stormed the offices at 11.30 a.m. Paris time. They said there were Al-Qaeda. Cartoonist Corny Ray, a.k.a. Coco, was quoted as saying by the weekly Humanity. The woman told the paper she was the one who led the men inside, with them pointing a gun at her. The document, issued by the police, named gun Gunman as Said Kowahi, born in 1918, Sheriff Kowahi, born in 1982, both from Paris, and Hamid Morad, born in 1996. Later, the agent's friends press news agency reported that an 18-year-old suspect in the attack had surrendered to police. Two gunmen are on the run. We remember, just an hour before the Charlie Hebdo attack, the French satirical magazine posted the image of an ISIS leader with the words best wishes. The weekly has a history of public publishing controversial cartoons of world religions, cultures and political leaders. Thousands gathered for rallies in European cities standing in solidarity with victims of the Charlie Hebdo shooting in Paris. At the biggest rally in Paris, people lit candles and held up their pants to support press freedom. Also, the news about Charlie Hebdo attack sparked a massive response on social media. In response, people around the world have rallied to show solidarity with the victims and condemn the brutal violence. Responses began with the trending hashtag Je suis Charlie, which translates from French to English as I am Charlie. But the question arises. Why Europe was silent when Ukrainian army killed Russian journalists Igor Kornilyuk and Anton Voloshin around village metalist Lugansk region at 17 June 2014? Why Europe was silent when Ukrainian army killed Russian journalist Anatoly Klyan in Donetsk region at 29 June 2014? Why Europe was silent when Ukrainian army killed Russian journalist Andrei Stenin and two Donetsk reporters Sergei Kareченkov and Andrei Vyachela in Donetsk region at 6 August 2014? Why Europe was silent when Ukrainian nationalists killed and burned alive more than 100 people in the trade union house in Odessa at 2 May 2014? Why Europe was silent? We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.